Oi pessoal, eu sou a Camila e eu sou uma dançarina aqui na Richmond Urban Dance. I'm from Brazil and I came to the US in 2019 as an au pair and I didn't know anyone, I had no family, no friends here. So my host family took me to church where I met Jasmine and Kirsten and after I met them, Jasmine told me um, she was a teacher at Richmond Urban Dance and she was like, come to one of my classes, it's for free. I took a while, a couple months to actually go and I showed up one time, it was the most fun I've ever had in a long, long time. So after that, I just kept coming and I quickly got really passionate about everything that Rudd represents, the fact that it's a nonprofit company and my friendship with Jasmine and Kirsten grew like a lot because of Rudd and I never really left. My first impression as soon as I got in, like, in the class, it was everyone was so comfortable dancing and like no one was like staring at each other or judging or anything like that. So that was really fun to be in a setting that wasn't like a studio or professional thing where if you don't get it right, you don't get a video or anything like that. It was like everyone's more than welcome. And that was really fun because I built a whole family here in a whole like village. And I feel, I feel like I'm home, finally. We danced in the street for a long, long time. I, we started at a studio, and after the pandemic, we started dancing in the streets, like, every, every week. And it was hot, it was boiling hot, and we were outside. It was cold, like freezing cold, we were outside. We would have classes, and those classes were like the most fun. I was in a, worship, like, a dance worship team in my church, and I did a couple choreographies for that, but it was like very, it was hip hop, but it was my, like out of my head. I didn't, I didn't take classes or anything like that. I did one performance once for hip hop. It was an intermediate level and it, it just literally fell in my lap. It was like, we have a, we have a competition and we don't have enough dancers. Do you want to go? And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take a, a try. I did try that and it was so fun and after that like I couldn't afford that anymore. I couldn't afford to keep going to classes back in Brazil. So I just stopped dancing altogether. But dance has always been a passion of mine and I'm glad that I can grow back here. Mandy asked me to teach um, op like an open level class here and it was so much fun. The process of creating choreography, it was just something completely new. And I feel like I'm growing and I don't see Rudd as a company, I see Rudd as a family. So if you're afraid to come to class because it gives a little anxiety, that feeling that you're about to throw up, that everybody's going to be staring at you, it's just not true. No one is looking at you, no one's thinking like, oh yeah, that person doesn't, do, doesn't dance well. Like we. I feel like Richmond Urban Dance as a whole is focused on let, leading people to have fun and just bringing people together. I feel like very, very anxious in the beginning. Like every time we come to classes, I'll feel like nauseous and anxious, but something would bring me back every class and just like take that one step to some to one class come to adult beginner, come to intermediate, or come to advanced, and you you feel like, you feel like it's a family and no one's really judging you. Rudd has not only helped me, you know, with friends and family, but Rudd helped me find uh, my passion, my path. I feel like I, I, I don't know anything else that I could have been doing right now besides dance. I feel like it, it, it helped me um, with self-confidence, helped me learn, like grow more as a dancer or, you know, as a person. Rudd helped me with commitment. Cause it's, so if you dance for a few weeks in a row and you feel like you're progressing and then a pandemic hit and you can't dance anymore for months, then you go back and I couldn't dance anymore. I was like, what happened? So I knew at that moment, I knew that I had to like be consistent and come and be committed to dance to be able to grow. Also, it helped me with the commitment with the team. You know, I'm not a very committed person and 
coming to Rudd, it was like, yeah, you have to be consistent, you have to be committed to the team to do a good job and good work. Um, the last thing I want to say, and that's Portuguese, um, I'm going to say, não desiste, vai ficar mais fácil. And that's it. Ciao! <laughs>